Oh, we're rolling. Okay. Sometimes, okay. This is why my face looks always really, really weird in my videos. Sometimes when I click the button, it makes me click, and then it's a, and it clicks, and then you see weird faces coming. Because I'm just like, waiting, waiting, waiting. Snap! That's the picture. I was like, dang it, dang it, dang it. Alright. So the animal's still here. Red and we are going to talk about Halloween. Woo! So Halloween this year, like I said before, is themed as Carnival of Souls. So I've already started making some makeup designs for it. It's so exciting. Um, we're basically going to try to have people perform in it. Um, so yeah, apparently I'm going to hiccup today. So... And we're making up dances for it. It's going to be really fun. So we're trying to figure out that kind of stuff. Um, what else have we been doing, Mikey? Animal, what else have we been doing? Uh, costume designing. Costume designing. We figured out, like, how to... M we have some costumes already. We have to get other costumes and stuff. Um, I've been working on spring stilts. Ah, uh, spring stilts. I want someone on stilts. If you know anyone on stilts who can do spring stilts, I would love them to be along with me. Because I want my ring master to have stilts, and no one I know can do stilts. So that's kind of annoying. Well, we just want, you might want to have an, uh, a bag behind me in case I fall. Yeah. I feel like my lips feel weird because I'm using a lipstick I'm not used to. I found my last video. Yeah. My face looks kind of red because I was trying to do the Rose Tyler and her face is like red and just like, ugh. Okay, this makeup was not gonna last long. Gotta make some tweaks to it. So we're really excited about that. Anything else that we've been doing? Mm, a lot of stuff, but I prefer to take this, uh, keep it secret. Yeah, some, some of the surprise, some of the things are like surprises that only we will know. Um, we don't want to like keep away from everything. Of course, we're gonna be in character. We've already decided that he's going to be Wolfman. There's a couple other characters that will be um, making appearances, hopefully. We're still trying to work out some of the kinks and things. Why can I not think? Oh, okay. I hate when you're, like, doing this on your phone, you just, like, get... You, like, see other things, you're just like, ooh, I want to look at that, or I want to look at that. And then all of a sudden it's like, what was I looking up in the first place? Oopsie. That was due all the time. So, and for our American Horror Story Season 4 relook again, um, I keep looking up things for Season 4 because they're not announcing a lot. And I want them to announce more, basically. So there's, like, a lot that is unknown that I wish I knew about it because it is also going to be carnival-themed. I hate pop-ups. Apparently we're doing Thriller in the background. Pretty much. Ooh, the 10 craziest moments on American Horror Story so far. A vixen's encounter with Rubberman. So the lesson to be learned, if someone goes, you know, lays next to you in a rubber suit, you probably should have them take the mask off first to make sure you actually know who they are. Mmm. 
These are like the base, like the most craziest moments. When Dr. Threadson reveals himself to Lana. That dude looks creepy. So yeah, so that part is creepy. It's like the craziest, best moments of American Horror Story ever. And Frank's lobotomy, yes, in Asylum. Yeah, that's pretty gruesome. When Shelly becomes a mutant in Asylum, oh my gosh. I loved Shelly in Asylum. I was just like, no! What are they doing to you? I was like freaking out. Mm. And then she gets a double leg amputation. Ugh. That part was creepy. Cool. Oh yeah, when Sister Mary Eunice goes, um, dies, and she, they have to burn her and cremate her when Dr. Arden goes in with in Asylum. That was bad. Is it brain? Yeah, Vivian eats brains in Murder House as, yeah. um, because it's supposed to be good for the baby. Hopefully she actually gets brains. But it was sick and but it was very sick and it was a raw pig grain. Yeah, pregnancy gives gives weird cravings, but usually it's you know pickles and ice cream and stuff. They say that. Oh, this part is also crazy. These ones aren't as bad as like the first ones, so I don't think. Um, when Lana frunks the Aversion therapy. Ugh, that was a bad part. That that part, I was just like, no, stop, please, because she's gay, and they were trying to make her not gay because then she wouldn't be insane, basically. And <sighs> you watch some freaky stuff. I don't remember this part. Oh, yes, I do remember this part. Oh, my gosh. Um, Mora with Joe. If you guys watch Murder House, you know exactly what part I'm talking about. Oh, okay. So Leo in Asylum, er, Leo and, Ter and Teresa are the two characters in Asylum that start off as you have an arrow in your head. Um, oh, so that's what hurts. As you can tell, that we are both weird and creepy too. That I'm not the only one in the family that's weird. Um, so I for roller coasters and <laughs> Halloween. So I love Halloween. So Leo loses a limb. So. Leo was actually the lead singer from Maroon 5, Adam Levine, and I look really cool with the arrow in my head, what did I just say? And so he, when he gets his um, arm chopped off and he's looking at his arm and ugh, craziness. Sounds like that might have hurt. Ooh. Okay, so it went with the first one being the craziest and then went back as less crazy. I thought it was supposed to go the opposite way because I was thinking that there's going to be something really, really crazy that I didn't catch. And we're just getting weirder with these hats. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. I feel very Johnny Depp right now. Um, I feel nice. When, jo when Johnny Threadson 
sickles in Murder House. You guys know what I'm talking about. When he hires a prostitute. Um, yeah. I thought that there was going to be more crazy things that happened. Like, I feel as if these aren't crazy enough. I feel like there's so many things that they could have done. Create another crazy moment. Ooh, there's a bonus one. When Tate takes an axe to Brianna and Murder House. I don't remember this part, though. Was that the part when they're showing um, him murdering everybody? I don't know. Doopy! Hello. 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 Now we we all met Doopy. We did a video with you yesterday, didn't we? Didn't we? Mm -hmm. So these are the creepiest moments in American Horror Story so far. I feel as if there's much more creepy ones. Like, um, ugh, do you ever have it when you, like, you put on a lot of makeup and your nut face isn't used to it and you get really itchy and get an itchy issue? And it's not like it's makeup that's not good. It's, like, good makeup. It's just, like, my skin gets, like, really sensitive with allergies sometimes. So, so. I feel my I like, all you can see is my eyebrows right now because they feel so dark to me compared to my hair because of me changing my hair color. So those might have to leave my face. Not my eyebrows themselves. I'm not going to shave off my eyebrows. Just some of the coloring needs to go away because... This is too crazy of coloring for me. This is like driving me nuts. Um, but yeah, so that was crazy moments that have already happened in American Horror Story. I feel as if there's many more worse ones that happened. Like, I'm trying to think of ones. Like any of the Nazi guy in... Forgive me, I can never remember names of people in real life, let alone stories sometimes. The doctor Nazi dude from... Be careful with him. Yes, hi. From, um, Asylum. <laughs> I think that any one of his surgeries were weird. But yes, the lobotomy me was pretty bad. I thought that the shock therapy he did with Lana should have made it into the creepiest moments because that one made me cry as well as they also didn't involve any of the moments with Evan Peters and him because there was the whole thing with the bug inside of his skin and I think it feels as if that would have been creepy or anything with the aliens from that one. Um, those were definitely creepy moments. There was also more gory, more intense moments in Murder House that I wish was would have made like the ten greatest moments, creepiest, weirdest moments. But nothing I can do about it. So that is going to come out in October. The two. Okay, I found out more about Salem. Salem is not going to be a continuation of Covet. End of story. It is not the same thing. It is made by, it's not even really made by the same people. It's just the idea of American Horror Story. It's quoted as American Horror Story. I don't think it's the same makers. The same people are not going to be in it. It's a totally different series, a totally different thing. And But Carnival is going to have the same characters from the past. They're bringing back Doc, the person who played Dr. Thredson. They're bringing back... Evan Peters, of course, is in every single one. Um, let me look up the rest of the people for you. Cast. Um, horror. Hold on. Oh, it's just something from Pinterest. Sorry. I'm trying to, like, find one that'll tell. I know it's, it's going to be a 1950s carnival, but I want to know who is in it. Um, It's basically a new thing. Okay, it's going to be the typical characters that we've had. Um, blah, blah, blah. blah. 
It's going to be by Ryan Murphy. It's going to be Freak Show at a Carnival. It's going to be roughly focused on a carnival. Sorry, guys, I'm like trying to read and figure out where it's actually going to tell you. It's going to be a lot darker again. Okay, so they're basically saying, all they've basically said, I'm going to have to IMDB this, what they're basically saying about this is that um, we got away from the creepiness factor which I didn't really like when we went into Coven. Coven was creepy but it wasn't as bad. It was still viewable for some people. It wasn't as displeasurable. But when we go into season four we're going to go back to the creepiness like we had in Murder House and like we had in Asylum. The creepiness factor is going to be more like Asylum where there's the more of the gore as a part of it which I like. Story. I'm IMDBing it. This is showing Coven. These are just pictures of Coven. All right. So it's showing me the, the list. I'm going to take a look at the list and tell you guys who is staying and who is going. Evan Peters will be there. Will be back for season four. We know and love him. He is like everyone's favorite. He played Kit Walker, Kyle Spencer, and Tate London. Um, he was Tate in Murder House. He was Kit in Asylum, and he was. Kyle in the third one coven. Jessica Lang, who has become one of our favorites. Um, this will be her last season. They're actually, I'm not sure if there will be a season five yet. It has not been announced. I would assume so because it has such a great fan base. Jessica Lang will not be there for season five. If there is a season five, then she says that this will be her last season. They're making it sound like they're going to cut her in the season. It's not going to be, she's not going to just finish the season off. So she probably will die. Um, that's mostly how they've kicked off characters before, is people just die. Who has been, okay. Ooh, some of these characters I didn't realize were other people. Um... So Jessica Lang has played Condence Langdon, who was Tate's mother, Evan Peters' mother, in Murder House. She was Sister Jude Martin in Asylum. And she was Fiona Good in Coven. Sorry, I'm kind of getting mixed up with my stories here because they're so different. If I pronounce anyone's name wrong, I'm sorry, or any of their characters' names wrong. I'm trying to just sort them through right now. Lily Rab. Oh my gosh. I did not realize that she was these characters because they look different. Um, Nora Montgomery in Murder House, Sister Mary Eunice McKee in Asylum, and in Coven, Misty Day, she was one of my favorite characters. She's my favorite character in Coven, actually. One of them. Um, Francis McCoy, Conroy, 
Oh, I should just I should tell you that Lily Rap I have not seen continuing into Carnival. It does not mean she will not be in there. I have just not seen her name yet. Frances Conroy. Myrtle. Oh, I didn't notice that she was in all three of them. They they make the characters look so different sometimes from from show to show, so it makes it difficult to try to figure out who you were. Most of these people were in all three, but then you didn't notice them in some of them. Um, Sarah, who was... Who we would know more as Lana Winters in Asylum. I don't think is going to be back. Frances Conroy will be back. Um, Teresa Farmiga, um, she was a Violet who we all knew and loved as Tate's love. Um, Zoe would have been from Coven. Ah, I have not seen her back. I hope she's back because she has been one of my favorites. I was so discouraged when she was not in Asylum. I love her to death. But since she is not has not been in every single American Horror Story, I do not... I can't say for sure whether or not I feel as if she will be back. I have a feeling that she won't be. Dennis O'Hare. Very Hardy. Oh, him. He creeped me out. Um, Larry Har He was Larry, Larry Harvey, the, bu the burned guy from American Horror Story. Spalding. I don't, rem I don't remember him in Asylum, which would mean that he would have been in... Coven, but I've not watched all the episodes of Coven yet, and haven't been able to just watch the whole series through. I've seen episodes here and there. I haven't been able to pick up the pieces yet, so I'm not sure if he's an episode I missed. Zachary Quinto as Oliver Threadson. He will be back. That was a definite for sure he's back. Dylan McDirt that we know as a bunch of characters. Um, I didn't think he was in Coven. Like, some of these characters, they've kind of moved around, depending. Um, Dylan McDermott. I have a feeling that he will be in Carnival, because there's so much that they can do with him, but it has not been, he has not been officialized that I know of. Jamie Brewer, I have not seen her name either, but I'm pretty certain because she's been in all three. Or has she been? No. No. She was not in Asylum. She was not in Asylum. But I just have a feeling she'll be in it because she always plays that kind of off, kind of creepy character. And there's a lot that you can do in a carnival setting. Um, Kathy Bates. I don't think I saw her name. Joseph Finneys, who has played Bonsoir. I didn't see his name. Grace. I love Grace. Um, Lizzie Brescia, I think, is what her name is. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think I saw her name. I've only She was only in Asylum. So the characters that you don't see as much, there's the characters you don't see as much and the characters you see, like, every single season. So, from what I'm seeing is the characters that you see for every single season are more likely to appear in the fourth season. Uh, I have not seen her name, Emma Roberts. I actually do think that Emma Roberts will be in um, Carnival. Of course, she is the fiancé of Tate Langdon, which makes all of the Tate... Or Tate. His real name is not Tate. His real name is Evan Peters. We just all... When we see him, we think, It's Tate! We love Tate! Um, for, of course, from Murder House, and I do have a feeling that she will be in it. I don't remember seeing her name yet. James Cromwell, I don't think, is in it. Angela Bassett, I don't think I saw her name. Connie Britton, who has been in, it only says her for Murder House, but I swear she was in other things. Um which was the wife, I, 
I'm pretty certain that she is going to be coming back for Carnival, which is really nice. She was a great actress, and I liked her. Um, Queenie, you guys all know who I talk about when I say Queenie. Queenie um, is not going to be back, as far as I know of. Yes, my um, I could be wrong on some of these characters, but from what I'm seeing so far, this is who is, is and who is not. Kate Mara, who is Hayden, is not. Alexandria, who is the young Mora, and Kaylee. I'm trying to think of... Not. The X-Men, not. Not. I'm just like... At this point, I'm just looking through. Oh my gosh! She looks beautiful. This is Naomi Grossman. Can you guys guess who she plays? That's Pepper from Asylum. I've seen pictures of her, but not when she looks that lovely. Shelly. Chloe, I've always liked. I liked her a lot. I was, Like, she wasn't, like, that. She wasn't a good person. She was kind of up there. Um, but I did like her. She is not Matt Ross, who is Charles Montgomery. I really doubt. Um, I wish they had like a little blur, like in parentheses, what move, which episode, what um series that was from. Because on some of these, I'm like, wait, were you in this one or this one? Alma Walker, we of course know was from Asylum. She had a big part in Asylum. Marcy, I don't remember you. Um, I think we're getting into the Wendy, who I don't think is going to be back. I'm just, like, looking through and I'm looking at them. I'm like, wait, which episode were you from? Who did you play? Because, like, and of course in their pictures, it doesn't show a picture of them from Asylum. It shows what they actually look like. So it makes it a little, or not from Asylum, but from what series, from Asylum or Murder House or Coven. So it's hard to tell who is and who isn't. And they don't have an officialized list yet. I'm just looking at names that I've seen. Um, for the rest of these, I don't think... Adam Levine, I mean, they can bring him back if they really would like to. He actually did pretty good. I was surprised. He's, like, a good all-around kind of guy, I guess. Um, the rest of these names I don't remember seeing, and they are characters that we don't remember. The top ones we remember, of course, are Kit, Kit Walker. I keep thinking of, like, their names in the stories, and they're always wrong because it's an anthropology series. Anthropology series that are actually my favorite. I am a fan of Twilight Zone. And Doctor Who, which I don't think is technically an anthology series, but it does change and has some of the features that one does. Evan Peters, of course, Jessica Lange, Francis Conroy. I know that there was more. Um, Zachary Quinto, Dylan McDermott, Jamie Brewer, Emma Roberts, Connie Britton. These are some of the people that I really do feel that they will be in the series, I'm pretty certain. Um, of course, no officialized list has went up online yet, so I don't know for sure. But that is your update for as far as... Ugh, this makeup's really itchy. I don't know what he used, but it's, like, really itchy. <laughs> I probably didn't get, like, all of it off or something before, so it's probably, like, something that's still on there that he did. I don't know. Um, those are car Those are people... Actors and actresses that I feel will be in Carnival. Of course, nothing is set in stone. I don't know for sure yet. They're still making the series. They're still doing all these things. They're still casting. And, of course, there's probably going to be a bunch of new characters as well. There's so much you can do with a free Carnival series. So, that is exactly what is going on in the creepy world of American Horror Story. And in my creepy world, that happens in real life every day, apparently. Um... I find it kind of funny and amusing and kind of cool that we decided to do a, do a carnival kind of freak show theme as well. Ours will be called Carnival of Souls. Um, so I found it cool that we had one and then a couple of days later we find out that they're doing it. I'm like, we're both doing it! But of course, that theirs will come out before ours, so then I'll see it and be like, darn it, I should have done this character! Darn it, I wish I'd done this character! 
but nothing you can do about that, I guess. So, this is your second move of the day. I've been doing more moves lately. I guess I just really love you guys, and apparently need, you guys need more videos daily. So, this is your move of the day. I'll move you later. Bye!